All right, I uh, thought we had a, a good work day uh, today, you know, continuing to try to uh, uh, impl implement the corrections, uh, trying to put guys in challenging situations um, to, to see the response. Um, you know, there was some good, there was some bad today, but, uh, you know, all in all, I thought uh, I thought we got some some good work, and it was a uh, you know an introduction to some things uh, from a uh, game plan perspective. You know, there were some things that um, you know that we had that were to see guys be in challenging situations, uh, to see how they would respond from you know some of the things that we're seeing in the game. Just trying to continue to, to build upon that, um, and so yeah, we'll go back and watch film and continue to to push and correct. Perspective? Did you like what you saw today? I thought I thought we got good work. Um, you know, there were some there were some times where we, we lulled. I thought at times, but uh, uh, you know, there's you know, I, I thought all in all we got some good work today. Are you, are you easy to see what the offense do when it's not penalties or turnovers? I mean, we have we have examples of it. I mean, and you know, I, I read them off the other day. You know, if you look at the drives where we don't have a penalty or a turnover, you know, pretty good production. You know, you look at drives that we don't. It's, it's not. I mean, it's the same thing defensively. I mean, there's. It's a, but you know, those are things we talk about in the uh, uh, in fall camp. Those things we point out, and you know, at the end of the day, we've got to go apply it. So I mean, it's right now. It's just words until we do it. Last year, you had a lot of success. You know, scoring on opening drives. You know, about in terms of you know, opening play scripts, that sort of thing. What would you say? I know turnovers and penalties have gotten in the way of some of the things you want to do this year. But how would you kind of evaluate? This year. Yeah, you know, I kind of addressed that yesterday. Very similar question. Um, you know, I think when you look at the opening drive, it's you know it's something that we have a plan. We've had some some missed opportunities. Um, you know, things that you know take take pride in how we start games and uh, and the plan that we uh, try to implement. You know, last game we had a, a fumble in the second play, which you know it, it obviously derails that. Um, we had a drop pass the week before. Um, you know, week one we had, we were put in a challenging situation and. Um, you know, had a couple of negatives that, that, that made that tough. Uh, you look at the second second half uh, drives. You know, for the you know we've seen movement, but we haven't been able to finish for for a variety of different reasons. So, um, you know, we're trying to score every time we get the ball, and that's something we're going to continue to work on. And uh, you know, we got to do a better job as coaches and putting putting guys in position to do that. We got to execute when we get those opportunities. What you doing this week to try to help that offensive line? Sir, what things did you do today to try to give your offensive line? Better? Yeah, well, we had. We, at practice, we had a couple more uh, um, combinations that got presented to us. So uh, we were, you know, trying to, you know, we have to limit some because we're, you know, we're really light on numbers right now. So um, it got to that point where, you know, we were uh, a handful of guys. There's some guys that have not played for us. Uh, we're taking uh, a good number of reps, so we got to make sure that we're, um, you know, keeping things, you know, you know, in a in a in a way that they can go out there and execute, um, you know, but. You know, we have a we have a plan of what we need to do, and uh, you know we started implementing some of the things, some specifics I'm not going to get into. But uh, you know, there's you know we, we obviously uh, got to play better there. You know, Rob Scott did move around uh, today, which was good. Uh, so we'll see where where he is as we progress through the week. Seems like the running backs were a bit more involved in the passing game this week. Is that something you're making more of a conscious effort to do, or is that just more of a case of taking what the defense gives? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's something that's. You know, throughout my coaching career has always been a, a big role of that with the, just our running backs and the the options they are to the backfield you know people um you know, as you watch film people know that too and so there's some some times where th there's a heightened awareness of of where those guys are um you know this, this last week you know we uh, were able to get get the ball to them in some uh, in, in some of those situations but uh you know at the end of the day you know it's trying trying to take what the defense gives it but they're always going to be a role in our passing game um you know whether they're in protection and getting out or just sometimes when we free release them Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if Jordan's not available, then then Chubb will uh, definitely be the next guy in, and uh, um, you know, and Chubb has worked really hard, and you know, there's still, you know, he still has his freshman moments that uh, you in practice, but I mean, I love the progression I've seen, you know, to get him to be able to go through a fall camp, to have these practices, and you know, we still are, are keeping him, you know, very involved. Uh, in those, and it's uh, you know I'm excited for what his future is. Um, you know he's he understands that you know he's he's got to be ready, and um, you know he but he's been approaching that in meetings. Um, you know he's getting better, more confident in the things we're asking him to do. Uh, but you know uh, like I said, I'm excited about his progression. You, you mentioned confidence with Chuba. Is that just a matter of getting these repetitions? Yeah, I mean, finally? yeah, I mean that's a you know and, and Chuba played games. You know he started a game last year, so it's not like I've never seen him out there. Um, you know, haven't seen him out there with a ton of you know practice reps, but uh, uh, you know, I think just the consistency and what we ask him to do in practice, and where he has that, 
you know, where he's he's seeing seeing it just a little bit quicker, trusting trusting the things. You know, any any time if he has a check or a, or a, a possibility of just the confidence in being able to make that. Um, but you know, he's been put, putting in a lot of time. I'm seeing some great growth from him. So uh, definitely excited about uh, you know the, the steps he's taking. You got three weeks of preparing with two quarterbacks. Could there be a benefit in focusing? Everything maybe tailored for one guy. That's the case. You know, I mean, we'll see, we'll see how everything plays out. Um, you know, I think once again, you know, everything we do is because we believe it's what's best to help win games. And um, you know, there's uh, my entire coaching career, I've always split rep quarterbacks. And so when it comes to practice reps, it's not like one of those guys has not gotten not gotten reps of uh, certain things. I mean. When you get late in the week, if there's an addition, if there's something that you put in, yes, that would be the, the, the opportunity. And, and that shows up sometimes. It actually showed up last week. So, um, but for the most part of it, you know, it's, it, those, those things are, shouldn't affect you as much. But, um, you know, it, we'll, we'll see how that plays out if that's the case here this week. Do you like what you're hearing from the quarterbacks between reps during practice? Or are they seeing things or communication better in terms of understanding concepts? Yeah, you know, I've never, I don't know if I've mentioned that they don't understand concepts. Like, I wasn't hinting that, but I'm just, I mean, are you seeing growth? From oh, that? yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, every rep that a guy gets, you know, he's gonna, he, the, the, the processing of what he sees, you know, they, they understand the, the concepts, they understand where they're, where they're being asked to go to ball, but it's, it's sometimes the finer details of what of when you can take your first, when you need to progress off to the next read. Um, you know, those are all things that, uh, you know, I anybody that gets experience, whether it's a freshman or a senior, and that's why the, the importance of those reps and walkthroughs and film study, and, uh, you know, these guys are definitely investing in time. You talk about identity on offense. Is that something that the coaches can determine, or do you have to Oh, you know, I mean, there, there's something the coaches can desire, right? But players, you know, we've got to go live it out, and, uh, you know, I, you know, our identity of, of our Florida State football team is to be disciplined, hardworking, relentless. And we haven't seen a consistent, um, you know, disciplined play that we're capable of. And that's, you know, so right now it's, it sounds good, but we have to go apply it, um, you know, from a coaching staff, from players, from everybody involved. There's, there's not, nothing that, nothing I ever say or nothing that we do in a program that's not directed to me. I mean, I, you know, we have to be disciplined and every day coming out as a coaching staff and making sure we're holding guys to the standard, make sure we're pushing, make sure we're encouraging, uplifting. Like that is, that's a part of it. But then it's, it's about the response of, you know, the application. And when you play young players, when you have different combinations that come in and maybe not the continuity uh, at times, you know, on the field, you know, that's where, that's where that, you know, those repetitions help. Um, you know, we we face some adverse situations you know we've had some failures and kind of to my point yesterday is that I, I, we cannot let those go to waste and you know when you make a mistake when you don't maybe trust the fundamental or you don't uh, you, you try with all the right intentions and you get stuck you know not doing something that you have prepared for um, you know that's where you, you you have to be able to to apply that moving forward and um, you know like it's just like with with a coach I mean you know you do it each game you do it I mean between drives you know you know offense defense special teams you evaluate what are what are you doing and then you have to be disciplined to be able to apply the correction of what you see and that's where uh, you know that's where we're moving towards and uh, you know I, I like I said, I believe in these guys uh, in what we're doing and, and how we're uh, going about the process of growth. But, you know, we've got to do a better job of, of letting that show up so it is the identity of who we are. Having the referees out here, uh, what are the benefits, I guess, of that? Is that something you plan to continue to do throughout? Yeah, year? I mean, uh, you know, it's something, I know we talked about it yesterday, and that's something that, uh, um, you know, we don't have a full group, and it's, and it's challenging with the two fields, but, you know, there are times that uh, just to be able to emphasize and even some individual, uh, you know, opportunities, just things that, um, you know, because I won't, I don't actually talk to the officials when they come out here. I want them to call it as they see it, uh, but it is, it is definitely a, you know, when a kid hears a coach asking, or, you know, to, to use a certain technique and the reasons for that, and then, you know, if it doesn't show up on the field and you know there's a penalty thrown or there's something that that puts you in a in a tougher position it's another opportunity for a lesson and you know what we got to do is we got to take those lessons we're going to apply them but uh, you know it does definitely reaffirm some of the things of what we're trying to do and, and accomplish you all good all right thank you guys